Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Took the wife out to the restaurant this weekend, simple date. We observed something that we've seen for years. And here recently, been talking to our kids. Uh, they're teenagers. One's almost 16 and the other one's 13 about dating. Um, specifically, Gen Z has trouble with dating because, honestly, in my opinion, they just don't know how to date because they don't see it very often from their friends. They they see things differently in media and social media and all these fake posts that people like couples put out and they don't really know how to date. So I wanted to focus on that one with this small little episode and give you a nice little tip, especially you guys, all right? Listen up. When it comes to dating, the difference between being successful with ladies and not is the fear of rejection. If you are afraid of rejection, you're going to have a tough time approaching women and getting girlfriends and just basically going through your romantic life. So how do you combat that? Well, there's something that, it, uh, like I said, my wife and I, we've talked about often what would be done a little bit differently nowadays. The observation that we had is when we go to restaurants, we almost always see uh, a bit of a gaggle of girls that are dating age, that just hang out together, three or four deep. Okay, so you've got a table of gals, a three or four at a table, enjoying a meal, and basically having a good time, right? Well, fellas, listen to me. If you go out on the weekend and you've got two guys, three guys, four guys, and you're at a restaurant and you see girls in that situation, approach them, okay? Approach anxiety is a major, major problem for Gen Z dudes. Girls, they don't want to approach because they feel like they're being desperate. They feel weird. Girls aren't built to do that personally. I mean, yeah, some ca some gals can approach guys and everything, but they don't want to do that, especially when it comes to having a, like a long-term relationship. So they want the guys to make the first move, all right? So an easy way to do that is approaching them while you're in a group of guys, okay? Doing this particular tactic is not going to work if you're by yourself. That is going to be weird. You're, that's not going to go off very well. But if you're in a cluster of another guy, like if your best buddy or you have a couple other dudes that are with you, it automatically qualifies you as a decent human being and not an ax murderer, <laughs> okay, to, to somebody, to some random girl that's at a restaurant with her friends, okay? The difference between having success with women and not is the fear of rejection. Guys who know what they're doing with ladies understand this fact. So let's talk about ratios real quick. 80%. All right. 80%. You've got 20%. You've got 80%. Most guys that are successful with women, they understand that 80% of the time when they approach a woman that's attractive, that they find attractive, that they want to get their number, if they want to have a conversation, if they feel interested in them, 80% of the time, they're probably going to say, no, I have a boyfriend or all of these things to them. They understand this, but an 80% success rate, or now, excuse me, a 20% success rate means if you approach 10 ladies, eight of them are going to reject you, but two of them will not. Do you see the power in that ratio, fellas? 80, 20. That's, that's a very, very common ratio when it comes to a, approaching ladies, women, if you get rejected in that situation, most likely you may never see that girl again. Maybe it's somebody that, that, it, that you know. At least you shot your shot. At least you shot your shot. If you've got a girl that you're really interested in, you've known her for a long time, she knows you, and you approach her in, in, a, in a way where you're basically saying you're available, how are you going to know if she likes you or not? All right? 
Simple way to do that. But like I said, don't do this when you're by yourself. That is not going to go very well. If you've got a cluster of guys, two or three deep, I can't stress that enough. My wife and I, we both agree on this. Whenever we go out, we always see clusters of gals. Where are the guys? Guys, where are you? Are you at home? Are you playing video games? What's going on? We always see these gals out here and they're advertising themselves as single and they're, they seem like they're enjoyable. They're attractive girls. Why not come on out, get a meal, shoot your shot, and who knows, you may meet your future wife. Anyway, wanted to get that out there for y'all. Simple tact, a uh, lot of valuable information there. Uh, successful guys with women, they understand rejection and they accept it. You know, if they get it rejected, it's not the end of the world. They're still the same human being. They're not any different than they were five minutes before that fact, but they shot their shot. So, fellas, shoot your shot. All right? So, if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. You can use your help. This channel is fairly new. I've only been doing this about six months. I want to get the word out. I really, really care for the Gen Z people. They're my kids' age. I'm a Gen X guy. This is how we dated back then, and we've... We've lost that art. The, the art of dating is, is non-existent from what I see. And uh, I want to help you. All right. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday. Be desirable.